What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, Cast of Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading. So it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Um, I received another channel message in, so I'm going to do the reading. It's a free general collective reading, so it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. The channel message I received was, a Taurus's life is about to go up in shambles. I heard complete chaos. Um, but it's at least two or more Tauruses in the universe. Of course, you could be a Taurus and this not be happening to you. This could just be a Taurus you know. They could have Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Midheim, or Jupiter. You have to plug it in how it resonates. There's um, 10,720 of you guys on here right now. So, you know, you you only plug the messages into your own situation, how they resonate, okay? But a Taurus's life is about to go into complete shambles and chaos, basically. Uh, whoever this Taurus is, mask on a fem. I didn't hear if they were mask on a fem. Um, I heard some of them, it's baby mama, baby daddy drama. For some, it is current relationship problem drama. Um, and for some, it is regarding stolen money they have stolen in the past drama. Um, and some, it is their business's tanking drama. So you have to plug it in how it resonates in your own life. Um, foreign energy, very strong. Um, they can have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and mid energy for charts. So whoever these Tauruses are and how do they resonate in your life, basically. Um, masculine or femme. I feel it could go, I mean, I think it could go either way because I just heard Taurus. I didn't hear masculine or femme Taurus. Um, but some of these Tauruses, um, like I said, you could be a Taurus and know one of these Tauruses and it not be you. Um, you have, really have to plug it in how it resonates. But some of these sources, it's baby mama, baby daddy drama. So baby mama, baby daddy drama. It's obviously not a partner they're with. And that's just the truth. It's not a partner they're with. Um, so it is a previous sexual partner, though. So much so they have produced a child out of it. So some kind of baby mama or baby, dad, uh, baby daddy energy. And that's why I think it could be some of these are masculine. Some of these are films. Because some they have a baby mama. Some they have a baby daddy. Um, that's one. Some, it's current relationship problems. So some of these Tauruses are in some kind of current relationship. It could be um, boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be committed. It could be living. It could be legally married. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, it is um, businesses tanking into the ground. So they, they own a business or co-own a business in some shape, form, or fashion, and their business is tanking into the ground or is about to start. Um, I, I feel this is upcoming in the universe. Um, so it's probably about to start thinking. For some, it could have already started going down. Uh, so, but I feel they either own the business or co-own it. Um, some kind of business ownership energy. And for some of these Tauruses, um, they have stolen money from person, people, place, family, situation, etc. in the past. They're about to be exposed. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, ho hopefully to God, this ain't you. Maybe this is somebody you're connected to. But heavy, torn, chaotic energy, I'll tell you that, um, if this resonates for you or somebody you're connected to. And one of these Taurans will end up in jail soon through many series of chain events. Oh, my God. I heard one of these Taurans will end up in jail soon through many series of chain events. So you plug it in, how it resonates, and one of these torrents is going to end up in jail soon for many series of chain of events. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. We have volatility on the bottom of the deck. I shuffled several times. I got rebirth, and I got, uh, what was the other one I got? Rebirth, and there was another one, but I didn't feel guided to take one. We got volatility, though. I heard chaos and um, drama. Chaos and drama. So to me, volatility goes perfectly with the chaos and drama. This can be a physical volcano. I've gotten it out before as a physical volcano erupting in the universe. But it also can be explosion of temper, um, verbal arguments. It can be physical arguments. It can be chaos and drama energy. In this situation, it is chaos and drama energy. Um, all over the place in here. All over the place. Baby mama, baby daddy issues. Um, um, current relationship, volatility, um, 
I was pulling in third party energy. Uh, it wasn't pouring energy I was pulling in, um, but it was yesterday. I think it was Aries, Sag, Pisces, and Libra. So maybe a Taurus has been exposed of having a third party, maybe for some of these current relationship situations. And that's about, is about what to call some of the volatility and chaos and um, corruption. Uh, not corruption, chaos and um, volatility and craziness in some of their lives in the current committed relationship or group. Well, I didn't hear committed relationship. I heard current relationship. So it could be a boyfriend, girlfriend situation, a live-in situation, a committed relationship, or an actual legal marriage. You plug it in how it resonates, but that's, um, I feel they might be, some of these coins might be exposed to having a third party is what I'm trying to say. Uh, for some of them, just saying, just saying. So lots of chaos, craziness, um, chaotic energy here um, in this situation, a lot. I heard one of these Taurians is going to go to jail soon, too. So, um, you know, jail energy, um, volatility, um, tempers exploding, chaos, having to go to jail. Um, I've been to jail one time in my life. I was there like two or three hours. It was a, one of the worst experiences of my life. Um, I hated being there. I knew I wasn't there. I, I shouldn't have been there, but... And I used to work at that jail, ironically. The one that I got booked into, I used to work there. So um, you have to plug it in how it resonates, um, however it resonates. The one going to jail is going to try to use, one of them is going to try to use an alias. But someone in the jail is going to learn the truth and it's going to create other negative series of same events. Oh my God, wow. So there's at least two Torrens going to jail soon. There's at least two Torrens going to jail. Whoa. So one of the Torrens I heard is going to try to use an alias. So I don't know if this is a repeat offender, if they've been in jail before, or they're just trying to buck the system by using an alias. But I heard it's actually going to backfire on them. It's going to backfire on them because I heard somebody in the jail. So I think an employee in the jail. Or it might be an inmate that tells a guard or somebody like that um, their true identity. And I heard that's basically going to cause negative series of chain events for them. So it's going to backfire on them, cause more chaos, more craziness, more volatility on them because they were trying to use an alias. It is about to backfire in a huge way. Oh, my God. Heard it's about to backfire in a huge way. Whoa. Yeah, I think either an inmate's about to find out their true identity or a guard is about to find out their true identity or nursing personnel is about to find out their true identity. Somebody that is employed in the jail. There's nursing personnel that are employed in jails. There's guards. There's um, there's guards and nursing personnel, basically, in a, in a jail setting. I used to work in a jail. I know, I know how it runs. Um, you know, and other personnel, too. But that's mainly it. Nursing personnel, I've got the video on. And um, jail staff. Ooh, or it could be an inmate. It could be an inmate that realizes their true identity. But I heard one, there's at least two sources about to go to jail. Masculine or femme, about to go to jail. But one of them's going to try to use an alias. They're going to try to buck the system. But they are going to try to buck the system, but it is about to backfire in a huge way. And it's about to become very, very, very public. Oh, my God. Woo! I heard that it's, they're going to try to buck the system, but it's about to basically backfire. It's going to back, interject and boomerang on their ass. They think they're going to be smart by using an alias coming into this jail. Whatever jail it is, whatever area in, in the world, in the universe they are in. Their plan, game plan here is to use an alias. But basically, it's about to boomerang back. I think either nursing personnel is about to discover their true identity, jail staff, or jail staff is about to discover their true identity or another inmate. I'm saying, or it might be a lawyer, it might be a lawyer that, um, work, you know, comes into the jail for an, another client, possibly. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of people that come into a jail setting, um, because I used to work in one, but, um, oh my God, they think they're going to buck the system by using that alias. Oh my God. Woo. But it's about to energetically Boomerang back on them.
it's about to cause more volatility, more chaos, but they're creating this chaos for themselves. And I heard it once it they somebody finds out their true identity. Um, I don't know if the jail staff is going to go through their belongings and realize they have lied or if they contact somebody outside the jail. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not jail staff. Um, however, they're going to do it. But somehow they're going to positively identify this person as a, their true identity and not the alias that they booked in to the jail. And um, because when you go in and when they book you into the jail, you tell them your name, your personal information. But are you lying or are you telling the truth? And in this case, they're lying. They're giving an alias. They're lying. One of them. Now, at least two Taurus is about to go to jail soon. One of them is going to lie. But it sounds like, I heard, and I heard it's going to go very public. So I, there's a reason they're using an alias. So I think they might be a public figure um, or famous or something of that nature. And I didn't hear they were, but there's a reason they're using an alias. And they think they're about to be real slick about it. But it's about to backfire on their ass. Holy God. Oh, let's see if we hear anything else. You okay? You good? Okay. One of these Taurians that's about to go to jail, it's about to be someone to put them there they would have never expected. Oh my God, you plug in and how it resonates. I heard one of these Taurians about to go to jail, it's about to be someone to put them there that they would have never expected. So, um, you, uh, it, could have been a, it could be a baby mama, it could be a baby daddy, it could be a baby mama, baby daddy drama in here. It could be a current partner. Um, Boyfriend, girlfriend, committed partner, live-in, or um, legally married spouse. Or it could be anybody else. It could be any freaking body else. Or it could be somebody that knows, maybe it's, maybe this touring that's going to jail, one of them, maybe somebody knows they sold a shit ton of money and they're about to report them. Um, but it's somebody they would have never expected to basically call the police on their ass and report this shit, but they're about to, basically. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. My God almighty, this is strong. This is so strong. And for some of these forces that are about to go to jail, that might cause the businesses to tank down too because they're in jail. So that could cause their businesses to go down because it makes them look bad in the community and the reputation um, when the community really finds out what has put them in jail. And one of them is going to try to buck the system by using a damn alias. So they're not even going to be honest with who they really are. And that to me looks way more terrible because there's a reason you're trying to cover up your real identity. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do you, I, well, y'all know, I got put in jail in October of 2021 and I hated every minute of it. I was there a, a few hours um, and thank God I wasn't there any longer. I hated it. Uh, like I said, I used to work there, but do you think that I like going in there Knowing I used to work with some of those people as an inmate? No, no. But did I lie about who my name? Did I lie about my social security card number? Did I lie about my address? Did I lie about any of my personal identif identifiable information? No, I did not. I just didn't. Because I'm not going to lie about something like that. Yes, it sucked being there. But was I going to lie about it? No. This tourist thinks they're going to buck the damn system and lie. But it is about to... Boomerang back on their ass. So you plug it in how it resonates. And there's about to be a huge, huge, huge family argument in a particular Taurus's life. Huge. Over money. Some of these family arguments might get physical and the police might get called. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. And one of these um, and one of these Tauruses, there's about to be a huge family argument. So it's like a, to me, I feel it's like a family, um, family round table. Well, it's supposed to be like a family round table table discussion. Um, you know, like all the family members get together, like a round table discussion. All the family members is what I'm presuming. That's what I'm foreseeing in my head here. Um, 
but it sounds like it's going to get out of hand. It's going to get volatile. I heard uh, one of the situations there, um, it might get physical. So like domestic violence, um, physical altercations here, like physical hands on people, like fighting, like physically fighting because over money, over money, I heard. So, and that could be one of the choices where their business is just basically um, about to tank into the ground. Or maybe one of them where they get put in jail or about to be put in jail. Um, oh, that smells so good. I want one. There's six in there, right? Gavin, I want one. Or I want two. There was six. I want two. Um, so, yeah. So, sorry. <laughs> I got the video on. Can't come in here right now. Okay. But yeah, so, um, so yeah, that's crazy. I mean, family argument over money is so bad. It's probably going to cause a physical altercation. So like, knock it to your bucket, physical blows. I mean, who does that? Who does that? My God, these sound like grown people here. My God, I'm glad I'm not in this family. Experiments that you have reflected. Fair messages you have reflected. Mature woman reverse courthouse upright. Number six or twenty three could be very significant numbers in one's life. Um, number six or twenty three could be false. possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Also, also thirty one. Possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible social security card number. Possible green card number. Bad health reversed. Mature woman reversed courthouse upright. One of these Tauruses is going to get a divorce soon and very quickly. And one of one of these Tauruses is going to be in the middle of a lawsuit. Some with someone they have dated. Oh my God. Okay, so some of these Tauruses, uh, their spouse, legally married spouse, is about to divorce them soon. Um, so that could be the courthouse energy and the immature woman energy, um, possibly, um, but I don't feel the spouse is in bad health. Um, I feel they're healthy and they will not just want out of the marriage. Um, I feel maybe they, maybe the spouse feels the course is going to give them bad health and they don't want to be unhealthy possibly for the ones wanting out of the legal marriage. Um, and for some, um, they're about to be in the middle of a lawsuit with someone they have dated. So it could be currently dating or in the past dated. Um, but somebody, um, someone they have either dating right now or has currently dated them in the recent past or past, it sounds like it's about to file a lawsuit off. And that could be the immature woman reversed in the courthouse energy too. Maybe it's an immature feminine energy or an immature masculine that takes on heavy femme about to take them uh, for a lawsuit. To, a court, to the courthouse because uh, of something um, that has happened when they have dated or something that has happened in their relationship or something that has happened, period. Maybe um, when they were dating or not dating, I don't know. But whoever this is that's about to bring this Taurus to the divorce or to a lawsuit, I don't feel they're in bad health. I'll tell you that. I do not feel they're in bad health at all because we have bad health reversed. Um, I don't feel it's the Taurus. I feel it's the person about to bring them that's not in bad health. That's what I'm feeling here. But you plug it in how it resonates. Energies can be reversed. Let me see if I hear anything else. It could be you. It could be you about to bring this Taurus to for a divorce. Possibly. It could be you. Or it could be a femme energy that either is currently dating this Taurus or was dating this Taurus. How this resonates. Um. But I don't feel you're in bad health, whoever you are, about to do this to this Taurus. Because I'm pulling you in strong, too. So, um, and you could be a femme energy or a masculine that takes on heavy femme. However, that resonates. Uh, whoever you are about to do this for this to this Taurus, either the lawsuit or the um, or the um, divorce. Um, however, that resonates. Um, 
And for some, I feel it could be because of all this craziness about to occur. We've got crazy family drama, family meetings about to turn physical. We've got baby mama, baby daddy issues. We've got current relationship issues. We've got people going to jail. Somebody's going to try to use an alias. It's going to backfire on them. I mean, we've got, um, uh, what was the other one? There was another one in here too. Um, there was another one. Oh, some, a tourist has stole a shit ton of money. They're about to be exposed. I mean, huge things in here. Huge, huge, huge things. So you plug it in how it resonates. A lot of volatility, a lot of chaos, a lot of drama. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, guys, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices and namaste.